Hello everyone. Welcome to my new series how to design text template in Resolve using Fusion tab. And this is chapter number 5 how to create a template. Okay, so before we start how to design a template, first of all I'll show you types of template. Okay, so mainly there are two type of templates. One is non-editable and another definitely editable. So here I'll show you one example that I already created. So to insert template, I have to go in toolbox in title. I'll go to fusion titles and here I have one example. So here and vaporize version one. So I just drag and insert it into my timeline. Okay, so it's give me a good effect. Now again, insert another and vaporize version two over here. And see both have same effect that's version one you can change the text like uh, fusion tab now you see fusion tab over here you can write da vinci like this okay but as i show you if i click on this version one and go to fusion tab it's just show me two node one is macro tool and another is media out so if i double click on it it shows me only this particular attribute Okay. Now again go to edit. Now I move my time indicator over here. I select this. I again go to fusion. Okay. Now you see here you get one group. If I double click over here and I select this thing. Now you can see the all controller like if I want to change the tracking or anything like if you want to change the alignment and all those stuff you can change whenever you want okay so basically there are two types of template one is non editable and another is editable so whatever you want to design i'll show you how to design both kind of template that is very minor difference between these two template so i'll show you in this chapter so let's move how to design your template so i just delete this thing now to design a text template using fusion tab first of all i have to create one fusion composition so i just create it I just name it to first template create to open this I just double click and it will open in fusion tab now I create one text plus tool I write some text over here Just click over here, deactivate this checker underlay. Now 
as i already mentioned in chapter number 4 how to apply modifier in style text so i just right click over here apply follower modifier i just click on this modifier tab and go to transform size and on zero number frame i set my x to 2 and y to 0 but you can't see any effect as i already mentioned in chapter number 4 to show the effect of this particular changes in follower modify you have to apply animation on that particular property so if i click over here click over here now you see now i go to 10th number frame or 12th number frame i just set it to 1 and here also 1 So right now, it look like this. Now, I go to timing tab, and here I apply some delay, maybe three frame, and now you see. So now, if I play this thing. Okay, even you can add more property or apply some graph, modify some graph. For example, if I go to spline, select both property and press Shift S to smooth this graph. Now, if I play. Okay, so I am happy with this as a as this is my first template, so I am not do more on it. I am happy with this thing. Okay, so now I want to convert this thing into template. So for that, what I have to do, I just need to select all node that I want as my template workflow likewise if i want to apply some glow on this particular text so for that i just right click over here add tool and in blur i apply soft glow i just set it over here Just add some values, maybe some color, like this. Okay, so this particular text animation. design through this two node or this two node flow so to create template what i have to do i just select both of this node okay i right click over here on any node macro and here create macro now i just give a name to this macro maybe grow grow up 
version 01 and here is very important what property you want for that particular macro for example if I just want user to insert or modify the text content so for that whatever I select okay for example here I have text one followers in that particular followers I have some animation on size soft glow and all those stuff is available over here so I just click on this text contain and here the all property which is available in text plus 2 is available here so for example here I just need to change the text contain so for that I just click on this yeah if you want to allowed user to change the font style you can click over here so in our example I just set style text and font okay now I save this thing save as so here I save this particular macro in my local disk so I just save this and I close this thing I save my project so now I close DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you where to store that particular macro and it will work as a template in Resolve so I just close it so here I have grow up version 1 so you have to just copy this particular macro and if you have window operating system this is the path C drive program files black magic design DaVinci resolve fusion templates edit and title and if you are using Mac OS then library application support black magic design DaVinci resolve fusion templates edit and title so here and window user here I paste my template grow up version 1 now I restart my result so now as you see in toolbox in titles and in fusion titles you get grow up version 1 is available on this menu and if I drag over here I select you can see I'll get that particular option that I selected when I create that macro so if I want to change anything over here and you can see but if I select this thing and I go to fusion you can only modify these properties okay so this is non editable template now how to design that editable template so for that there is very easy way so I just go to my local drive where I save my template here and I just duplicate this thing control C control V and I just give it name version 2 
now i just open this particular version 1 in wordpad or any text editor so here you can see that group version 1 is equal to macro operator okay so if my operator is macro then i can't change anything apart from that particular selected property so what i have to do now i open version 2 and here i just change the word macro to group this is case sensitive so g is capital and r o u p are in small now i save the thing i copy this thing again paste on davinci resolve fusion template edit titles again you have to restart your resolve now again i go to toolbox in title now you can see group version 1 and group version 2 so i drag over here okay so this is my version 1 and this is my version 2 now if i select this version 2 that i already edit in text editor and i set it to group now i select this and click on fusion tab and now you can see if i double click on it i can see the whole workflow so i can change now anything or you can add something else over here if you want to uh, apply some more effects or tools over here you can easily add okay so this is editable template so both have only that different that one is macro and another is group so with this lesson you can familiar with types of templates how to design templates okay so in upcoming chapters we will go more deep in template design Okay, so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another thank you